Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Good morning, London. Good afternoon, Pakistan. And good evening, Australia. Welcome to Bahbani Nurturing Your Garden. I'm your host, Shela Saeed Akhtar, and this is our fourth episode. Um, before we continue, I just want to remind you, either you allow uh, StreamYard access to your name, or kindly put your name against your comments so I can see who's been commenting. So let's welcome our beautiful guests from London. It's a couple, it's two today. They're an amazing duo, uh, one of the most adorable people I've ever come across. Uh, I asked them individually to come on the show and they were like, no. And when I said, okay, do you want to come together? And they were like, yeah. So, mashallah, the most in love couple I know, uh, both very food or very fond of traveling. One likes to cook and the other likes to shop. One is very fond of aero modeling and the other is fond of classical music. One is passionate about going to the gym and the other loves to swim. Yet when they come together, they are nothing short of being awesome. So let's welcome our very own Jack and Rose, Dr. Amara Sohail and Dr. Sohail Saeed. Are we on? Ashana, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for bringing us on your show. And we are really humbled as we are nothing to, to what you have just said. We are very ordinary people, just your kind words. And it's the love that you have for us and our family that uh, brings out uh, all the best about us. I, I can say Plenty more for you as well because you are a very adorable person and a very, and very amazing host. And oh, thank you. Happy. Thank you. I meant every word of what I said about you. So let's start and give us brief intros about yourselves. Shall we start with you, Dr. Sohail? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, well, uh, very humble beginnings. Uh, my father was in the civil service, so we did not have a very stable uh, platform we traveled a lot but most of my basic education took place in Lahore uh, St. Anthony's High School and then I went to Foreman Christian College FC College and then after that I got into um, medical college in Mutan after that I did my post graduation in uh, Ireland the Royal College of Surgeons and then I did my post graduation in urology mm -hmm. and I'm a urological surgeon uh, working in uh, London right now. So okay. that's basically for my uh, background educational thing. As I said, my father was in civil service. So we had um, basically a um, lot of, uh, uh, as civil servants have, accommodations, big accommodations. And uh, we, we always had, uh, you know, plenty of uh, big gardens and everything. And my mother was very, very passionate about gardening. So um, I don't know, I won't say that I have inherited it all from, uh, uh, from her, but uh, you know, a little bit of uh, know-how comes from there. So the gardening passion comes from your mother? Uh, a bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Amara, would you like to say something about yourself? Well, uh, thank you very much, Shaila, once again, uh, for bringing us here. And I just feel so kind of like embarrassed because Gardening, uh, I may say I'm passionate about, but I'm very um, amateur and I'm in the supporting role with this guy uh, who does most of the hard work. I'm just there to criticize and make sure things are done properly. So, uh, <laughs> very important role. Exactly. So, I'm a critique. Um, <laughs> regarding myself, I um, graduated from uh, Patmaj um, uh, University now. Um, and uh, basically came to um, Ireland with him because I had absolutely no desire to practice medicine because 
I just, life was too um, exciting to be explored and all that. And I thought, I'll be wasting my talents if I become a doctor. And it's only when we came abroad and I felt so useless doing nothing. Uh, although I was uh, basically looking after my two kids at the time, but I think as the time went and my mom, she always wanted uh, us to kind of progress in careers like most Pakistani moms are. I then, she is basically, she's the one who said, you're wasting your time. We must do something before you return to Pakistan. And that is what uh, inspired me. And um, she made me do exams. And then I started working. Uh, and here I am. Uh, I'm a gynecologist and uh, um, I love my job. And, uh, you know, here I am. Wow. Tell us about your teaching, because that's remarkable. Oh. Oh. Yeah, teaching, I mean, when you asked me about my hobbies and I started thinking, what are my hobbies? I just what, wasn't able to pinpoint exactly what I do, uh, even though they, I do a lot of things like you have already mentioned, but I think teaching is my passion. Um, and uh, that is a, a lot of my job actually is uh, teaching. Uh, I mean, internationally, I do participate in, uh, I mean, congresses, workshops and so on. So um, I didn't want to make me uh, sound boring by saying teaching is my hobby because it's not. It's a part of my job. And I love that. Um, and in addition to that, of course, like household is my passion. I love um, kind of, you, you know, uh, lights and uh, flowers and plants. And um, <laughs> sometimes Sahil gets fed up because he thinks that, wow. you know, Right, every part of the house with some greens or flowers and things like that. But I love it. I just have to be sitting in a garden all the time. And this is kind of, this is where my passion for uh, gardening comes. I'm more indoors, but sitting indoors, I like to look outside and it has to be pretty. So, I mean, so he will show you the corner, which is like my corner. Where I sit in the morning on the couch look outside and there are flowers and there are greens and there are birds and there are squirrels. This is my, my, you know, uh, that's, that's the start of your mom. So much energy. It's just amazing. I can't explain how fantastic I feel first thing in the morning when I look outside. So well, with, with a beautiful garden like that and an interior as beautiful, who wouldn't want to start the morning in uh, good spirits? So how do you both find the time for gardening or arranging with your busy schedules? Uh, well, I mean, the summertime is always very nice, as you know, for uh, gardening because there's plenty of sunshine and you get uh, long days. And when after work, I am very lucky, I must say, that uh, I get, um, get off work most days at around five o'clock and I can come home. And then I can find time to scroll around, uh, you know, nurseries and see what I can find uh, fascinating, something to lighten up, and just find I find a spot where I can put plants, flowers, as they are Amara's passion. So my plants have to be very, very flowery, flowering plants. But this has this year has been very unlucky because of the COVID nineteen. I didn't get a chance till quite late in the season to go out and buy some stuff. And um, it was uh, like uh, uh, quite uh, not as lively this year as it used to be uh, in the previous years. Nevertheless, we did try. And uh, yeah, uh, Amara is, as she said, she's a critique. So she would try not to get her hair dirty. <laughs> she would get, get me. She'll take take her chabak out and she'll say, come on, get on with it now. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. Because the, the passion that comes from there, you know, you, you need to have put in your heart and soul into whatever you do. And that's when you reap the rewards after all. Well, I'm going to go through some of the comments. Fazia Saad from Pakistan is saying, lovely home and beautiful couple, welcome. And uh, Sobia is admiring your color coordination. Um, <laughs> okay, there was a shuffle between chairs, musical chairs going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and no, someone just, has realized that my this is my better, the better side. Oh, side. Okay, your better angle. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is good side. Side. 
And someone has written, wow, love the green indoors. Where are they based, Shella? I'm sorry, I can't see your name. So please kindly put your names against your comments. Yes, where are you based? Uh, we are in the Northwest London. Uh, it's a place called Jollywood. Uh, so, I mean, not very far from me, where you are, Shella. And uh, it's... Uh, Don't it's give a, the address. It's a very nice <laughs> place. <laughs> I like, no, I like this area because it's um, very quiet and it's very green as well. So that yeah. complements uh, what we normally, both of us, like. A lot of greenery and uh, not very urban. You know, it has to be a bit rural as well. Absolutely. So that was Rabia who asked, uh, would you like to start showing us around your beautiful house and then your garden? Yeah, sure. That's, um, I would love to. Uh, it's not... Again, I'm very humbled about uh, where. Well, can you get the chairs out? So, I mean, just to show a little glimpse of what Amara's passion is flowers. Wow. Plants. Plants. Another. Kasim our our, our special, special house plant, Kasim. Hello, Kasim. <laughs> this, plants. More plants. Wow. Plants, Actually, more plants. You can show my view from my... Uh, from yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So basically, more plants. And then Amara likes to couch on this one. And then <laughs> she starts looking outside. Wow. And that's where she gets her view of the garden, the fence. We deliberately left, left that part of the fence. Uh, we didn't uh, put in any plant, tall plants there. Because Amara likes to see these um, lovely animal squirrels. We had a pair when we came when, some years ago. Now there are two generations of those squirrels and they're tiny little ones that play around. And oh, I'm wow. so lovely to watch. You have to show Watch my them. ornaments, my special ornaments. Yes, I mean, I'll open the door now. So yeah, we'll show you uh, special ornaments that she has actually collected from various parts of the world. I mean, she brings them home and then she realizes that, oh, they were available in home nonsense, as I call it, <laughs> <laughs> and TK Maxx. So, I mean, most of the plants have actually died off, but uh, we still have a few geraniums still showing them. They're losing the Not as good as they were no, before. And then we have uh, some of these evergreen plants here, and then we have these snapdragons. But they are still showing a little bit of uh, fascination towards nature. Um, yeah, these geraniums and shrubs, some late uh, onset um, carnations. Um, sorry, did you say something, Amara? Uh, then I'll just show you around the garden. I mean, as I've said, it's not a big garden. But I'd like to keep it nice and tidy. So this is what we have. Um, and then we have Amara's more ornaments, the pineapple. <laughs> Hasn't got eaten this year. We're saving it next year. Can you hear me? Is the signal all right? Yes, we can. We can. OK, then we have uh, more of these peacock. We got some flamingos. And uh, then we have my water feature here. The interesting thing, wow. can you hear me? Yes, we can. The, interest, the interesting thing about this is this is a, a love bath for my for all the birds that are in the vicinity. And just above that, that green shrub, that is actually a, a, a rose. Uh, and it's got the most fragrant roses uh, that, I mean, you can smell them from my way. When they fall in that, we lost the signal. When these roses fall in that uh, little uh, uh, reservoir, they automatically fragrance that water. And when these birds come and take a bath in it, they probably go home smelling very nice. Can you hear me? Wow. Yes, we can. We can absolutely uh -huh. hear you. I'm just going to tell you, some, uh, Dr. Soyal, I'm going to tell you some of the comments. Uh, yes. Rabia is saying, I uh, love that your perennial still blooming, mashallah. And Sobia commented on the wisteria, which we saw earlier. Yeah. That was okay, you can yeah. continue. Want to show 
You're breaking up, Shala. Sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, we can hear you. Okay. Well, that's good. Now I'll show you one of my this is spiral conifer that I have sculpted Ooh. myself actually. Wow. Um, so this was uh, this came up as a very tiny. It was supposed to be a dwarf conifer. You know these green ones that you get in nurseries. They don't grow very tall. They're supposed to be inside uh, what you call little um, pots. Now yes. this guy was um, getting a bit scruffy, so I gave it a little trim in the area that was getting scruffy, and 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 it automatically fell into this spiral um, uh, sort of a configuration. So I mean I could see that, and this is something quite unique that I sometimes see uh, figures in plants that are just naturally growing and they just need to be enhanced. So what I did was just slightly enhance it and uh, over um, a few months I just kept trimming a little bit and things started to you know fall into place and that's his final configuration. I think it looks pretty all right. Wow, that is a huge thing. It's not easy to scout shrubs, bushes or trees. Um, Rakhi from Australia is saying, good job on sculpting the conifer. <laughs> uh, I'll show you something else, actually. You okay. spoke about my other passions, which is obviously well, that's that, is it? modeling. So the hangar, that's where I'm keeping my aeroplanes for the winter. They hibernate and they're ready to fly again in um, summer. So that's where they will hang out for now. This is the hangar, as you call it, where the airplanes are kept like a garage. Wow. And this is my uh, apple tree. It, it produces tons and tons of apples every year. And we start eating these apples, never buy anything from uh, anywhere. Uh, and we just basically use them till the end of October. So Lovely. and there's the yummiest and the tastiest apples that you can get. Which I can uh, vouch for because I've eaten them and they are yummy. Yeah, and Amara has got a bird feeder there as well. And it attracts some, some uh, you know, talent as well. <laughs> okay. um, so I'm going to go through some questions. Someone's asked electric or gas planes. They are um, internal combustion engines, and I've got electrics as well, but I prefer the internal combustion engines. Change. Now I'm going to flip over to the interior because it's pouring rain outside. Oh, so yes. Is that all right, Shala? I think I've yes, got that's absolutely fine. Um, whilst you're flipping, I'll just go through some comments. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, there was one. Yes, and uh, how lovely, a fragrant bird bath. You guys are gardeners after my own heart. That's Rabia. Thank you. And there was other comments which, and uh, Nashmiya Sardar Muhammad is saying, mashallah, mashallah, love their beautiful home and garden. Uh, Reshmina Ahmed, my beautiful cousin. Hello, Reshmina. Um, and would you like to talk a bit about uh, scouting? What tools you employed, how you did that? Sculpting the conifer? Uh, no, no special tools. I mean, I was told by one of our colleagues, uh, she's a wonderful gardener herself, that uh, what you do is you put a a, a thread uh, tie, tied on a nail on the floor and then take the thread around in a spiral. And then following that thread as a guide, you start chopping down those little uh, uh, shrub, uh, the branches that are coming out so that you can get it into a uh, proper um, uh, uh, corkscrew spiral. But I didn't do that technique. I just basically saw that it was already doing it. It was already wanting to become a corkscrew spiral. So I just started trimming around and started uh, molding the branches and they fell into place. And he likes uh, experimenting and that has come after a lot of damage and heart of the heart. You're not going to tell the exact word, but yes, you said when started sculpting. He, 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 he could reach no, no, that it, level. It is one of those plants that yeah. you think that are going, but look at the outcome. They're, they're coming out so beautiful. <laughs> They are. So you mentioned something about you see shapes in plants. Did I hear you? No, it's just that some, naturally, not all plants, not every plant will show shape. 
It's just that sometimes what you have is uh, a, a shrub that will sort of start growing. I had one in our pre where we lived before. I used to call it the rooster. And uh, this chap was like, uh, it had grown different uh, uh, branches in a manner that looked like a big rooster. So I just trimmed it a little bit and it got into shape. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so I'm going to ask Sobia, I think, question before. What was their huge indoor green plant in the corner? Was it the yucca or? I saw a yucca, huge indoor green plant. Corner. That is our baby from uh, 30 uh, years old. Oh, yeah, he's a yeah. 30 year old chap. Wow. Is this the one, Sobia, you asked? Come closer. Yeah. This is this is uh, um, this is Yaka, and uh, this is our uh, part of our family because we this was one of the very first few plants that we acquired when we moved to uh, uh, moved from Pakistan. Uh, we went to UK uh, to wow. Ireland. This is about uh, it, it's as old as Kasim is, so I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> but it is quite old. So, um, but I mean, we just cherish him. I, mean, I, I would be very upset if it's not uh, uh, kind of, if it doesn't make kind of uh, <laughs> make up for a few more years because this is one of our kind of favorite things. It just gives such a beautiful look to indoors, uh, refreshing. And then, I mean, I have basically put lights on it and the lights just like, I mean, it's daytime, even though it's very dark here, and we had to put lights to be able to um, be seen. But yeah. at night, it just it just looks beautiful. We've got up lighters, and you know, it's uh, lights is another uh, kind of my passion also. So I yes, I know. Light. So yes, the answer is yes. It is Yaka. Uh, yaka. Yeah. Okay. So Humaira Sharif is saying hi, Suhail. By doing a good job, keep it up. I like your description. <laughs> I think very much into uh, into gardening. Yes. they've got a beautiful garden, and I think uh, because Homera, I'm going to say she's my sister, and she lives in London as well. And uh, interestingly, I tell you, I mean, even though I wasn't uh, very much into gardening to start with, um, I'm in this uh, supporting role. But all brothers and sisters, we were trained or groomed to be into gardening since we were uh, little kids because our dad was kind of passionate our mom who was a, a housewife she used to kind of take passion in uh, looking after her vegetables and uh, she used to grow every kind of possible vegetable and we had and she had also passion of uh, these uh, roses and i think in our house we used to see every possible yeah. color roses could what, have and yes yeah, so and because i mean all brothers and sisters we used to have these little watering cans that were recycled from old dalda ghee uh, canisters so wow. uh, depending on the age so that is where our passion for oh, green sure. is that's where i've gone wrong i should get an old uh, tin of dalda and make a little can out of it so that she can start walking. She can start, yes, she can start helping you. <laughs> okay, I'll just read out another comment. Um, Munazza Imran from Australia is saying, nature is full of patterns. One needs the eye to see them. Lovely garden. And um, Saima Qureshi saying, beautiful plant, love the height of it. Yes, it's the, it's the age of their son, as old as their son. <laughs> okay, so are you prepared for a little rapid fire round? Oh no! No! <laughs> I'm gonna fire the question. It's all right. I don't think that makes you happy. This is coffee with Shella, <laughs> so you have to <laughs> kind of make it there, supporting you. So I'll fire the questions, and then you have to answer immediately whether. One answers or you both answer together. So shall we start? Yeah, please. Who is a better driver? Between you. Amara. Me. Amara. Ooh. Most, most driving offenses on a license. No, I haven't. He actually is a danger I, on the road, so stay I, away from him. I have no points on my license. <laughs> okay. Who is a better cook? 
Uh, Mara does all the cooking in the house, but I do have some signature dishes that I take special pride in. Uh, I have my karai dishes, chicken and lamb. I make the lamb uh, joint roast. Uh, I think I've been told that it's really good. I've trained him very well. Yes, well, I'm a well-trained husband, I must admit that. And at the same time, I uh, one of the special dishes that none because none of my family members eat fish that with so much uh, passion, but I'm very passionate and my mom was, so I inherited that recipe recipe from her. It's a masala fish. I wow. think it comes out very beautiful. Anybody else who has a passion has loved it. Uh, but uh, they're not very keen on it. When I make it, it finishes very quickly. <laughs> they don't always show passion to me. Oh yeah, dad, please make it again. And as I, I can tell you, I, I may have lied that I'm a better cook because I cook all right, but he cooks with passion. All the things that, and uh, <laughs> most of the dishes he makes, they are my recipes. And, uh, but he takes, uh, he spends all the time in the kitchen. So when I'm cooking, I'm just doing other things as well. And that may result in burning of the sides of the pans and things that like that. Gives the extra flavor. So, and he actually stands there and that is the only thing he's doing. So Bunafai. doing chamche and... Bunafai. Bunafai. So, wow. <laughs> okay, next question. Who's a better doctor? I think we both are. No, maybe we take a right <laughs> Uh, I think Amara is, uh, as she has said, she's very passionate about teaching students. So I would say that she's better in that aspect for me, that she's, in, in addition to being a very good surgeon, she is a teacher as well, and a very good teacher. She takes very, a lot of pain in, uh, in, in, in teaching the students, <laughs> and she does it from home as well. And that sometimes makes me a little bit upset that, you know, you shouldn't bring work at home. But uh, yeah, hey, oh, that's it. Wow. Okay, so Dr. Amara, question for you. Your favorite classical song? We. I mean, there are so many. Don't ask me. I, um, I, okay, the one that comes to your mind quickly. The first song. I always. I mean, ask I Kishore always Kumar. love Kishore Kumar. So all the Kishore Kumar songs that are filmed on Rajesh Khanna is. <laughs> My favorite, so I, I can't remember anyone at this time. Not that one day, it's up in the field. No, 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 <laughs> no. Okay. No, I, I tell you, I mean, again, I, we grew up with my, our dad used to play this classical music with the, uh, what was that, um, uh, Sagal and Habib Ali Muhammad and Muhammad Ali, uh, sorry, uh, what's that, uh, 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 Mehdi Hassan. Mehdi So okay. all the old classical songs i love them and i just love playing them when i'm relaxed okay. next question for to help hi porsche 911 or bmw m4 oh that's, a, that's not such a difficult one you know you're, you're talking about <laughs> you can only two, two two wives <laughs> <laughs> but i would have my amara anytime oh the answer is Porsche is, uh, I call it bazooka, that is one of his very favorite. That's my toys. real uh, passion. Uh, M4 is uh, very quick, it's more fun to drive otherwise. Okay. Um, Amara, pearls or diamonds? Both, both. Both? <laughs> I can't choose, I can't choose. <laughs> it's a both. Okay. A question for you, Maravaji. Um, Sidra, your daughter, or Royal Dalton? <laughs> Sidra. <laughs> Sidra. <laughs> the background behind that is her passion for collecting crockery. Yeah. Which you didn't mention before. I mean, I love China. China and porcelain. Yeah. I mean, uh, the thing is, if only we were kind of living in the US or uh, Australia and we had bigger houses, we could, I could have get, collected more. Sure. But um, I mean, I can show you some of my yeah. old uh, collection. Um, so go let's, over uh, we'll have a look in that yeah, cabinet yeah, as well. Yeah. So I'll just show you some of my kind of, like, let me switch on the light because- uh, <laughs> No, this is really right? nice one actually. Yeah. The light's really good. Yeah, Yasin yes. Khan is saying, beautiful garden, impressed there are no leaves on the lawn. <laughs> and that no is so, so healthy in them. <laughs> in preparation. 
So see, another thing I'll tell you, Shalla, um, that oh, is, wow. um, uh, this country roses was used to be my passion. And one of my actually friends made me realize that most of the crockery I have has some kind of flowers on it. So um, everything you will see has got flowers. So that wow. is shows that I was kind of always very passionate about, you know, <laughs> uh, flowery crockery and things like that. And uh, um, so I'll show you some my china, which is like porcelain dolls is another thing that I have, I'm always passionate about. So I'll just show you a glimpse of that also. Wow. So, um, yeah. And those little mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, you can go from here. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah, so just um, everything has got some kind of a flower on it. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. And I'll just show you some of my dolls. I'll just read out a comment. Goodness, you're asking tough questions, Shella. I agree with Amara. If only we had more space, Rabia. So that is my doll collection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is kind of, I love collecting any sort of like, uh, as I said. Both dolls, right? Nice. So oh, different wow. varieties. So I yeah, love them. Know that. Way, like, looking at them is so, so beautiful. I think I've, I've shown enough, shown off enough. Okay. So. <laughs> so we'll ask Vihela the last question. Where is he? I'm here. Can't see you. And Fozia Saad is saying, you have a fabulous taste for things and a wonderful garden to cherish. Okay, so the last question for Dr. Suhail. Uh, Kasim, your son that we saw, your handsome son, or Delu? <laughs> Look, Kasim is, um, you know, a, a, a part of our heart and a part of our uh, bodies and souls. So you can't compare this. No, 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 not politically new, correct new, Just, Del just. Delu is a new arrival, but he's still our is favorite. A okay. favorite. So you show us what Delu is and yeah. why would I sort of ask you to choose between Kasim and him? Show us your passion, another passion. Uh, I'll show you my other passion. This is our new arrival. These are the babies that we have now that the older ones have uh, fled the nest and they're uh, doing their own thing now the new babies are here and this is my other little baby delu the black one so the black goldfish i think if yes, you look at the view was better this, sorry move back slightly the view was better is slightly. that better now Light you can see yeah, you can see Delu and uh, Suneri there. They're getting very excited because this is the feeding time very soon. Mm -hmm. So they're now wanting to have something to eat. Show the one that you tell have. Us, uh, Dr. Phil, tell us how you feed them. With hand. They're my babies. I feed them in the Which is very unusual. I've never heard of anyone feeding their friends. <laughs> I must, I must tell you a story, Shaila. You know, in the lockdown, we used to talk to the, our babies because our actual human babies were not allowed to come to a visit us because of COVID. So we used to uh, talk to these babies. And one of Suhail's friends, he came and I was talking to uh, Delu. And he said, are you guys all right? Because I see there is some kind of mental health issue going on. So I, we had never realized it. So I spoke to one of my psychiatric friends and she's a psychiatrist uh, friends. She said, it's okay as long as you guys are uh, talking to them. Sure. But the day they start talking to you back, then you must be in touch with me as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> this is our passion and love for these uh, oh. little kiddies. This, they are part of our family. And I think our day starts with them now since our kids have moved out. Absolutely. So, uh, they are gorgeous. I've seen their fish tank live as in... In the house, it's beautiful. You just want to stand there and keep looking at it. So we're going to wrap up now. And thank you ever so much for being on the show, for showing us around. And all the conversation we had with you was amazing.
Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so Allah. much. Love you. We and love you uh, uh, we love watching all your shows. You are an excellent host. And you managed to bring really amazing people on your show. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.